Okay guys, so in this video, let's see that how do we display the recycler view inside this cart fragment. So let's go back to our application here. So let's close all the things here and instead we'll open only the things which we require. So we need this fragment here that is the cart fragment. And we also want to open this cart row that contains our cart item or that displays our cart item. And then we also want to open this fragment cart here which is the cart fragment and here we see that we have a recycler view that says cart recycler view and it has a layout manager of a linear layout manager so let's add here the item here so list item and it is only for demo purposes that how our recycler view looks like so let's provide the layout of the cart row and let me also provide the list count here or item count and let's say 2 so it is only for demonstration purposes. So we see that this is how our cart uh, recycler view would look like. That is this thing here. So let me go back to our cart fragment. And here firstly what we want to do. We want to observe this get cart from this sh uh, shop uh, view model. That is this method here. So we want to observe this method. So what we can do. We can go inside our cart fragment. And firstly let me make a log statement here because we might require it and now let's uh, declare the shop view model that is shop view model shop view model and where we want to initialize it we want to initialize the shop view model inside the on view created method so on view created and here inside this method we would uh, initialize our shop view model and to initialize our shop view model what we'll say we'll simply say shop view model equal to new view model provider and for the owner we will pass in the require activity and then we can simply get shop view model dot class and now what we will do we will simply say shop view model dot get card dot observe and for the owner here we will simply pass here get view lifecycle owner so get view lifecycle owner comma new observer from this cart item list we can submit our list to the cart list adapter which we are going to create okay so firstly let's use view binding inside this cart fragment because we do not want to use data binding here but instead we want to use view binding so let's go to our cart fragment here fragment cart binding and fragment cart binding and then we can initialize this fragment cart binding so here instead of returning this thing here we can simply say fragment card binding equal to fragment card binding dot inflate and here we can pass in the inflator the container for the view group and then false for the third parameter like this and then we can simply return fragment card binding dot get root like this and here we can get our recycler view using fragment card binding so fragment card binding dot card recycler view dot set adapter and this adapter we need to create and then let me set one more thing here that is the divider for the items so we can simply say fragment card binding dot cart recycler view dot add item decoration like this and here we can simply pass in the new divider item decoration like this for the context we can require the context for the orientation we want to pass in vertical like this and now somehow we want to set an adapter to this recycler view so how do we set an adapter firstly we need to create a list adapter for this cart row for this cart recycler view so let's go to this adapters thing here and let me create a new java class here and the name would be cart list adapter and now let me click on add here because it's a good thing you do not need to worry about it and this cart list adapter would extend from list adapter and here we need to pass in the type and the view holder the type would be cart item because it would contain cart items that is this list would contain cart items and then we need to pass in the view holder so let's create a view holder here so it should be cart view holder let me call it cart vh and this extends from view holder class that is the recycler view dot view holder and now we need to have a constructor for this cart view holder so let's create the constructor here and now let me pass in this thing here that is the cart vh here like this and now we need to implement the default methods here for this cart list adapter so let's press alt and enter 
to implement the methods that is the on create view holder and on bind view holder so let me do that and now we need also need to create a constructor here so let me create the constructor here and we'll be using that diff util callback here and now since we want to use data binding inside this card row that is this layout what we can do we can use data binding here so for that let's go to our cart list adapter and here instead of providing in a view here what we need to pass we need to pass here cart row binding so cart row binding and this should be cart row binding and then for the super call we can simply say cart row binding dot get root like this and now we can create this view holder inside this on create view holder method so here what we can do we can simply say uh, layout inflator layout inflator equal to layout inflator dot from and context would be parent dot get context like this and then we can say cart row binding cart row binding equal to cart row binding dot inflate and here we can pass in the layout inflator that we just created for the view group we can pass in the parent and for the attach to root would be false like this and then we can simply return new cart vh and here we can pass in this cart row binding like this and now inside the on bind view holder what we want to do we want to use this holder here and we need to set some value that is the cart item value inside this cart row so how to do that so firstly what we need to do let me increase the font size first here and let me also close this uh, split view here and let me open the code view so firstly we want to convert this layout into data binding layout so let's press alt and enter and convert to data binding layout and now inside this data tags we need to provide in a variable here and the variables name would be cart item and the type would be cart item this thing here and now what we want to do we want to set an image here inside this cart view so for the cart view we can use the same adapter that we used here that is inside this product thing here because it's a product image and somewhere we have this uh, adapter here that is this binding adapter so we can reuse this binding adapter in, in the cart row also so what we can do we can simply say android dot product image inside our cart row here so here we can say android android product image and here we need to pass in the image url so for the image url we can get the image url like this that is cart item dot product dot image url like this and then to display the product name what we can do instead of hard coding it here we can again use data binding here and that is cart item dot product dot name like this and then we have a hard coded quantity text view so we do not need to do anything inside here because it's a hard coded quantity or it's a label here so let's go to the spinner so we'll be looking at a spinner uh, in a moment so now let's see so now let's see this thing here that is this price text view so this is the price text view so here to display the price what we can simply say for now here we can simply say cart item dot product dot price like this and since it's a double so we need to wrap it inside string dot value of string dot value of cart item dot product dot price like this one thing more that instead of displaying the price here that is the individual product price what i would like to do display here is the total price of the products that is if there is iphone 11 and the price is 649 and the quantity is 2 then this price should display 649 into 2 and not the price per product it should display the total price of this uh, cart item so instead here what we can do cart item dot product dot price multiplied by multiplied by cart item dot quantity like this so it will display that price here so now this won't work because each of our cart items would have the quantity to be one because we have not implemented the quantity thing inside our application but let's make it this way that is 
cart item dot product dot price into cart item dot quantity so when we'll add the quantity thing so it would be automatically adjusted and now for this spinner thing to set the value inside this spinner what we need to do we need to create a binding adapter so let's create a binding adapter for this spinner that is to set the quantity inside the spinner so let's create a binding adapter inside the cart item class so let's go to our cart item here and here we'll create a binding adapter that is to be used inside the spinner so here let's create public static void and the method should be called get selected spinner value that is get selected spinner value and here we need to pass in the spinner the spinner and int quantity like this and then we need to annotate this method with add binding adapter at binding adapter like this and here we need to provide in a string here that is android set val and this string can be of your choice that is set val and here what we need to do here we can simply say spinner dot set selection and here we can pass in the quantity minus one because a spinner's index is zero based if we open our this file here that is inside this values this strings.xml we have this spinner here that is the string array that is used inside the spinner so to show this thing here that is one item is present that is the quantity one is present we need to set the selection of the spinner to be zero because arrays are zero based so that is why we are using this thing here that is that is quantity minus one and then we can also pass in a second argument that is true that is animated is true and now we can use this binding adapter inside our cart row so let's go to our cart row and inside the spinner we can say android set val and here what we need to pass we simply need to pass in the quantity here so cart item dot quantity like this and the spinner would be set according to the quantity of the items present inside our cart list so now let's go to our cart fragment here and here what we want to do we want to initialize this cart list adapter so let's do that so here what we can say we can simply say cart list adapter cart list adapter and we need to import it and again we need to create this class as a public class that is this cart list adapter so public and now we want to initialize it equal to new cart list adapter like this and again before initializing this class what we need to do we need to implement the def util callback inside our cart item because if we go to our cart list adapter here its constructor expects an item callback here and so that we can call in the super method here so for that what i am going to do i am going to our cart item model here and here let me create the def util callback for this cart item so it should be public static diff util dot item callback and the type would be cart item and this should be called item callback and this should be equal to new diff util dot item callback and here we need to return some things so here what we can return here we can simply return old item dot equals new item like this and our items are same whether the items are same or not so for that what we can do we can simply say old item dot get product dot equals new item dot get product because if the product is not same then it would return false if the product is same it would return true so now we are going to use this item callback that is this item callback inside our cart fragment or inside our cart list adapter so let's open our cart list adapter here so let's open it and instead of providing it here what we can simply say we can remove this thing from here and we can simply say cart item dot item callback like this and now we can initialize this cart list adapter inside our cart fragment and we need to make this cart list adapter public so let's make that public so let me see yes it is public now 
and now we can pass this cart list adapter here inside the set adapter method so cart list adapter like this and now what we can do whenever the list changes here we can simply say cart list adapter dot submit list and here we can pass in this cart items here but still we won't be seeing anything inside our application because we haven't used this on bind view holder method and we need to set the value inside this bind view holder so let me quickly fix this problem here and that is of a semicolon here so now let's go back to our cart list adapter and here what we want to do firstly let's make a variable here that is cart row binding cart row binding and here what we can simply say this dot cart row binding equal to cart row binding like this and now we can use this cart row binding inside our view holder to set the value so what we can say holder dot cart row binding dot set cart item and here we can pass in the item here and we can get the item here using this thing here that is get item and here we can pass in the position here and now what we also need to do we can also say holder dot cart row binding dot execute pending bindings and this method that is execute pending bindings is not necessary but you should always call this method because in case if any bindings are pending then it would execute those pending bindings that is setting the data bindings and we should also call this method that is execute pending bindings inside our shop list adapter which we haven't done as we see here that when we are setting the product we haven't called that method so let me also call that here though it doesn't make a difference but by using it there is no harm so let's close this so now let me run this application and probably we'll be seeing the items inside our cart so let's go back to our application here so now let me add this product here and if you go to our cart view we see that the product has been added and the quantity is one and the price is 12.99 so let me add this thing this thing and let me add again imac 21 so we will be seeing two items that is imac 21 so we see that we can add products to our cart and we can display them inside this recycler view but now let's see that how do we combine these two items that is these two cart items into a single item that is this iMac should be displayed as only a single item here but instead the quantity should be displayed as two and the price should be reflected according to the quantity of the product here so that's what we are going to do in the next video